Hello everyone, welcome back to ULEARN Education Online channel. In the previous video, we have seen one of the modulation technique that is an amplitude modulation. What is its definition and also how to find out the time domain expression of AM signal. Furthermore, the frequency spectrum, the calculation of power, modulation index and efficiency, current, those all parameters are found mathematically. In today's video, we are going to see the circuit that are used to generate an amplitude modulated signal. So one of the method that is used to generate an AM signal is a square law modulator. Now why it is called as a square law modulator? So thus, in order to generate an AM signal, the circuit uses a square law device like diode. That's why it is named as square law modulator. Here, the diode will operate in the square law mode. Now let us see the block diagram of a square law modulator. So if you observe, this block diagram is consisting of mainly three blocks. One is the first block is an adder block and second one is a non-linear device and third block is the bandpass filter. Okay, so now let us see. Here the message signal and the carrier signal that is generated from the local oscillator is directly applied to the adder block. Now what the adder will do? The adder will simply add the two incoming signals that is M of T and C of T and it will produce at the output. Let us consider it as a V1. Now the signal that is the output of an adder signal is directly applied to the non-linear device. Here the non-linear device we are saying it as a square law device and that too here the diode will act in the square law mode. Okay, So this square law device is used in order to generate an AM signal expression. Now let us say that the output of a non-linear device that is square law device is indicated with V2. Thereafter it is passed through one type of filter that is a bandpass filter. Now what the filter will do? The filter will pass only certain frequencies and rejects the unwanted frequencies from the incoming signal. So what the bandpass filter will do? The bandpass filter will allow only the certain band of frequencies and rejects the other band of frequencies. Therefore finally we are concluding that the output of a bandpass filter is an AM signal and it is indicated with SAM of T. Okay. Now let us see in detail what the square law device will tell. Here we are saying that the strength of a message signal is very low. Okay, so we know that the diode will act in the square law mode for the incoming low voltages. Okay, for high voltages, the diode will act as a linear characteristics or a linear mode. We know that the strength of a practical message signal is much small and also the signal that is the carrier signal that is generated from the local oscillator circuit is also having a lower strength. Therefore, since so the applying of two signals that is M of T and C of T is having a low strength values, we can say that the diode will operate in the square law characteristic region. Now let us see how we are going to prove mathematically that this block setup will generate an AM signal at its output. So the output of an adder circuit is indicated with V1 and its mathematical expression we can write as M of T plus C of T. Here, the carrier signal is generated from the local oscillator circuit. As we know that the oscillator will generate either a sinusoidal signal or a cosinusoidal signal. So we can write mathematical expression of a carrier signal C of T as AC cos 2 pi FCT. Okay. And here we can assume the M of T as either a random signal or a cosinusoidal signal or a sinusoidal signal. So I can write M of T as it is. Therefore, the output of an adder circuit is mathematically represented as the output of adder circuit is indicated with V1 and its value is M of T plus C of T where C of T we can write as AC cos 2 pi FCT. So finally, the output of an adder circuit mathematical expression is M of T plus AC cos 2 pi FCT. Let us consider this as equation 1. Okay. Now this signal is passed or applied through non-linear device or a square law device. As we know that the general expression of square law device is Let us consider it as a V2 and its expression is given as A1V1 plus A2V1 square 
and so on plus a n v one to the power n. Okay. For simplification purpose, let us consider first two terms. Okay. So for in order to prove mathematically, let us consider the first two terms. That is v two is equal to a one v one plus a two v one square. Let us indicate it as equation two. Now, what we will do? We have to substitute the value of v one in equation two. We get so v two is equal to a one into what is expression of v one? It is m of t plus a c cos two pi f c t plus a two into m of t. Plus a c cos two pi f c t whole square. Now do simplification. Then it is a one m of t plus a one a c cos two pi f c t plus a two into I can expand a plus b whole square as a square plus b square plus two a b. So it is m of t whole square plus a c square Cos square two pi f c t plus two into m of t into cos two pi f c t. Now do simplification. Then we will get v two as a one m of t plus a one a c cos two pi f c t plus a two m of t whole square plus A C square into A two into I can write cos square theta in terms of cos theta as one plus cos two theta by two. Okay, plus two A two m of t cos two pi f c t. Now finally, the expression of V two is. V two is equal to a one m of t plus a one a c cos two pi f c t plus a two m of t whole square plus now what is the next term? It is a c square into a two by two. So its value is a c square into a two by two plus. A C square into A two into cos four pi F C T by two plus two A two m of t into cos two pi F C T. Now let us check the equation once again. So it is two m of t. Here I missed the value that is A C. So here it is A C. Okay. So here it is. It is again multiplied with the A C. So this is the final output expression of square law device. Okay. Now this signal is passed through the bandpass filter circuit. Now what the filter will do? It will allow only certain band of frequencies and rejects the unwanted band of frequencies. Now let us see how the response of bandpass filter will looks like. Bandpass filter response. So it is F. Let us indicate it as an XF. So the frequency spectrum of bandpass filter will looks like this. So it is having one frequency that is FC, that is center frequency or carrier frequency, and I am assuming it is having again one, and the three dB frequencies. It is one by root two, so it is the values. Okay, so it is F C plus F M and F C minus F M. So this is the response of a bandpass filter. Now from this input equation B two, we have to check which terms are allowed by the filter and which terms are rejected by the filter. Now let us see the first term. It is a one into m of t. So this m of t is nothing but a message signal, and it is having a lowest frequency. Let us consider it as an FM. But the signal frequency FM is not passed through the bandpass filter. The filter allows the frequencies that are in the range of 
carrier frequency that is Fc. So the first term A1 into M of T is blocked by the filter. Now let us see what is the frequency of second term. Here A1 into AC is a constant and cos 2 pi Fct. Here the frequency is a carrier frequency Fc and it is a center frequency or a carrier frequency of bandpass filter. So it is easily allowed by the bandpass filter circuit. Let us indicate it with tick mark. Now let us see the third term. The third term is A2 into M of T whole square. Again it is having a signal frequency FM. Since it is M of T whole square it is a harmonics of a signal frequency FM. So it is blocked by the bandpass filter. And the fourth term is AC square into A2 by 2 which is a DC term. As we know that the filter blocks the DC signals. So next term is AC square into A2 by 2 is a constant and here the frequency is cos 4 pi Fc which is nothing but it is having a frequency 2 Fc which is greater than the carrier signal frequency. That's why this term is also blocked by the bandpass filter circuit. And what is the last equation? It is 2A2 into AC which is a constant and it is M of T into cos 2 pi Fct. So it is having a frequencies. Fc plus R minus Fm if I am assuming that M of T is having a low frequency signal that is Fm. Okay. So this is passed through the filter. So finally the output of a bandpass filter will be the amplitude modulated signal and it is represented with as A M of T. So the final expression I can write as output of bandpass filter is s a m of t expression is a1 ac cos 2 pi f c t plus 2 a2 ac into m of t cos 2 pi f c t okay now take common a1 into cos 2 pi f c t so a1 ac cos 2 pi fct if i take common then its value is 1 plus 2 a2 by a1 into m of t so this is s a m of t expression now here let us consider ac dash as a1 into ac and ka as 2 a2 by a1 Therefore, we can write the final expression as a m of t is equal to a c dash into cos 2 pi f c 2 into 1 plus k a m of t. So, it is a carrier signal equation with a different amplitude that is a 1 into a c into 1 plus k a into m of t. So, the final amplitude modulated signal expression is in the standard form. Here the AC is multiplied with the constant A1 because of the square law device properties. And here the amplitude sensitivity Ka value is 2A2 by A1. So finally the mathematical expression is in, is in the form of a standard form of amplitude modulated signal. Therefore hence it is proved that the setup of square law modulator will generate an amplitude modulated signal. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Keep supporting and please subscribe to our channel.